Tonight, we're live from the United Kingdom, where King Charles III was officially proclaimed the monarch today. The history and the spectacle playing out for the first time for all the world to see. The moment Charles officially ascended to the throne. The procession in the streets with thousands packing in to see it. Three cheers for his majesty the king. Hip, hip. The new king outside the palace today, meeting with his people. Surprise appearance, the young royals united, Prince William and Catherine inviting Harry and Meghan to join them as they greet the public. So sorry, oh, oh, amazing amazing you for being here. Plus, the queen consort, Camilla, by the king's side today, the new roles across the royal family. Also breaking tonight, Russia's retreat, the stunning advances by Ukraine, the most territory they've retaken in six months, Ukrainian soldiers raising flags, and the emotional videos as residents welcome them back. In the U.S., the vicious wind and rain in Southern California, this plane skidding off the runway as it lands. And the Queen's final farewell. The palace releases complete details for her funeral, how it will play out, the massive security push, and we take you to the Queen's favorite place, how they're remembering her now. This is a special edition of NBC Nightly News, the ascension of King Charles III. Reporting tonight from Scotland, Tom Yamas. And good evening from Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. This will be the first stop in the Queen's final farewell. Today, we witness history that has played out for centuries, but never like this. It's been 70 years since Britain had a new monarch. And unlike in the past, today, the ascension of King Charles III was televised for all the world to see. Everyone now able to witness images that have only been seen by a select few going back hundreds of years. There was the special council proclaiming Charles the King, the announcement outside, letting the country and the world know it was official. And there was the grand pageantry in the streets, matched only by the huge crowds. But it was another surprising image that's also making waves across the globe. Take a look at this. Prince William and Catherine side by side with Harry and Meghan. Our team is across the country to cover all of it tonight, but we begin with the history made today, the end of one era and the start of another. Scotland, now ready to say goodbye to the Queen. That's NBC Nightly News for this Saturday. I'm Tom Yamas. For all of us at NBC News, thank you for watching. Good night. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt, winner of the 2022 Edward R. Murrow Award. Nearly a dozen hours after the eye roared ashore.